Here we will draw the meninges, which comprises three separate layers and forms three separate spaces. As reference points, draw the brain and skull. Then draw the meningeal layers. Draw the dura mater and internal to it, draw the arachnoid mater. Next, indicate that pia mater covers the nervous system parenchyma. Now draw the meningeal spaces. External to the dura mater, draw the epidural space, and internal to the dura mater, draw the subdural space. Then internal to the arachnoid matter and external to the pia matter, draw the subarachnoid space. Now let's note a few key anatomic and clinical points regarding the different meningeal spaces. First, note that the cranial epidural space is only a potential space because the dura tightly adheres to the skull, whereas the spinal epidural space is an actual space which separates the vertebral column externally from the dura mater internally. Thus, epidural hematoma is more common in the spinal canal than in the cranium. Intracranial epidural hematoma classically occurs when middle meningeal artery rupture rips the dura away from the skull. Now show that the tearing of bridging veins causes subdural hematoma, and finally indicate that the cerebrospinal fluid fills the subarachnoid space, which is why we test the CSF to evaluate for subarachnoid hemorrhage. This concludes our diagram.